So back to business. What you do is you palpate the iliac crest, you follow it with your thumbs or with your fingers until you feel this bump on the front side, it's very prominent. Then um, if you let the patient sit down, yeah, it's easier to, to palpate the anterior, inferior iliac spine, but still there's quite a lot of <laughs> yeah. yeah, inert tissue that is blocking you and it might be ticklish or even sensitive <laughs> to the patient, yeah? Um, the back side, posterior <laughs> superior spine. Again, crista iliaca. Follow the rim until you feel the bump. The bump. It's the superior one. You go a little bit more downwards to feel the inferior one. If you uh, topple your pelvis, can you please topple your pelvis to the Elvis? The, the Elvis move? You know Elvis the pelvis? Mm. Elvis yeah. Presley? Oh. Yeah, oh. yes. <laughs> and, your pelvis. and again. Yeah. Uh, can you please move it backwards all the way and stay okay. there? All the way? Yeah. All the way. So topple it posteriorly, the pelvis, all okay. the way around, make a round back. Okay. Like yes, that. thank you. Then uh, it might be more easy. Thanks. Um, where's the pelvis? Here. <laughs> so, tilting the pelvis um, is one of the movements that, there, that there's a lot of confusion about because how do you call it if you topple it this side or that side? Um, what you always should do is uh, try to look at the, upside, the upper side of the, the pelvis because the axis of rotation is somewhere here. And, and then if you topple it backwards, the lower side moves forward, mm -hmm. but the upper side moves backwards, right? Mm -hmm. And vice versa for the other movement. But you always look on the top side of the pelvis. So if you topple it like this way, uh, this way, it's what kind of uh, tilt? Anterior posterior. It's anterior. 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 And this one is? Posterior. Of course. All right, try to find the iliac spines, and then we'll continue. <laughs>